What's up guys, Shepard to this back and welcome to another video on my channel. Coming up in this video, Lincoln City are home to Cambridge United. So, looking at the news recently, Tom Hopper has made the move to League 2 side Colchester United. And Charlie Kendall has made a move to non-league Bromley. So, it's going to be interesting who we play up front on Saturday. So, I am recording this on the Friday, so it is before the game. So, I'm going to give you my pre-match thoughts and what my starter 11 could be. So, like always, if you want to see another Lincoln City video on my channel, smash like on the video, subscribe down below, subscribe to my second channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So, I just want to say my prediction for the game is going to be Lincoln City 2, Cambridge United 2. So, I'm going to be telling you some head-to-head -head stats for the game. So, looking at the table, Lincoln sit 16th and Cambridge United sit 22nd. So, in wins, draws and losses, Lincoln have won 6, drawn 12 and lost 7. On the other hand, Cambridge have won 7, drawn 3 and lost 16. 16 loses this season so far. That, that's abysmal. <laughs> So, goals per game for both teams, Lincoln aim to get at least one goal per game and Cambridge aim to get one goal per game as well. So, in goals conceded per game, both teams get at least one goal conceded. So, in terms of clean sheets, Lincoln have seven clean sheets and Cambridge have four clean sheets this season so far. So, guys, like always, it is seven o'clock in the morning in match day, Lincoln City versus Cambridge United. So I'm going to be waking up in a minute and going down to have some breakfast. And then when we are ready, we are going to be heading off to the LNER Stadium to have something to eat and drink. So this is our Lincoln City lineup against Cambridge United. Great to see Lewis Montemur back in the match they squad. So this is our the visitors lineup. Ex Lincoln City player Colin McGrand was placed as he made a loan move from Charlton Athletic. And here come the players, Lincoln City in the red and white and Cambridge United in the amber.
so Lincoln City versus Cambridge United is about to be underway. So the fourth official has holded up the board and there will be another one minute to be played. So that's the half time whistle, Lincoln City nil, Cambridge United nil, so who will break the deadlock in the second half. So these are the 50-50 draw number results. So the second half of Lincoln City versus Cambridge United is about to be underway again. So in the 79th minute, Lincoln City make a double substitution with Charles Vernon and Max Anders replacing mid Shelby Pole and Ted Bishop. In the 18th minute, Lincoln City make another double substitution with Harry Boys and Joe Von McKenna replacing Sean Rowan and Danny Mandroyu. So at the end of the second half, there will be another four minutes to be played. Saturday, the 11th of February, when we entertain Bristol Rovers at 3 o'clock. Don't forget, Lincoln City will be travelling in the week tomorrow for a 3 o'clock kickoff. In the meantime, Ames fans, thanks for your fantastic support for last uh, this afternoon. Have a safe journey home, and good night.
So guys, that's for Somersault, Lincoln City 0, Cambridge United 0, and guys, that's probably one of the most boring games I've ever seen of football. So I really hope Lincoln City can just try and find some form and start picking up some wins because it's games like this that I think that we should be winning comfortably. So like early in the season we played Exeter and Fosco and they were one all draws and looking back we should be thinking oh we should have won them games and it's just like today. So guys like always if you enjoyed the video please remember to subscribe to the channel it really helps me out. Also subscribe to my second channel I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Also slap a like on the video so I know you like this type of content. Also comment down below what you thought of the game and I'll try and reply to as many as possible. Also, please remember to turn on post notifications and limits below. So, guys, if you want my Snapchat and Instagram, first go to in the description below. So, guys, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you later.